Last night I put a bullet into a man's head. I like to say it was right between the eyes, but I was off a little bit to the left. Now, before anybody gets crazy about what I just said, I need to include one mitigating fact. At the instant that I pulled the trigger, the man was in the form of a werewolf. My name is Owen. Twice before I've spoken to you about my work, particularly concerning the subject of vampires. From time to time, however, my exploits diverge off into other areas. Such was the case here. Last night was the culmination of a six-month investigation that covered the distance of over a thousand miles. I tracked the creature from town to town, down deserted highways, across rivers, through isolated forests and desolate swamps. There was a brief but volatile confrontation with the thing in the deep bayou region of Louisiana, where stories of the Rougarou persist till this day. Anyway, in the melee I was thrown to the ground and subsequently lost track of the creature, temporarily. If any of you remember, I spoke about vampires, about them being the result of a specific form of demonic possession. The same is true of the lycanthrope. I talked about how the truth about vampires has been twisted and distorted through the popular media. Well, you might not be surprised that the same thing has happened with respect to werewolves. Of course, I should state right here, and for the record, that yes, they are real. And yes, as I've said previously, the tetrahedral molecular structure of silver makes it deadly to the werewolf. I once spoke of the high vibratory frequency of silver. That specific frequency is 9.71 times 1015 hertz. Just as the radiating rays of sunlight disrupt the vampiric spirit's ability to maintain possession of a non-living body, so too does silver prohibit the emergence of the malevolent wolf spirit. The creature that I destroyed last night had been responsible for 11 deaths. I was brought into the case through the usual off-the-record communiques with high-ranking law enforcement officials. Each of the deaths were classified as mutilation murders, with all the victims having their throats ripped out as with sharp teeth and severe lacerations randomly inflicted across the bodies. Aside from these factors, the attacks were all carried out during full moon cycles. It wasn't difficult to assess what I was going up against. But it's over now, at least this one particular case. But I do worry about any potential aftermath to what's happened here. I know about the associated deaths in the case, but what about someone who was attacked and survived? Perhaps you remember the legends? Well, this part of it happens to be true. To survive the bite of a werewolf is to have the mark of the beast placed upon you. And then you too will be a victim of the devil's curse. <laughs>